so welcome back our next topic is consumptive use of water it is how does this water gets consumed from the soil or how does this water we irrigate into the soil gets consumed it is either two ways evaporation and transpiration all all the water uh, except that will be going into the water table and this evapotranspiration water that is the combination of evaporated water from the soil and transpiration transpiration is uh, leaving of water into the atmosphere water vapor into the atmosphere by the leaves of plants and trees okay we have studied it in the uh, higher secondary level okay that is transpiration and evaporation we know wherever there is water exposed to atmosphere there will be evaporation okay so that is evapotranspiration so evaporation is the transfer of water from the liquid to vapor state the rate of evaporation from water surface is proportional to a difference between vapor pressure at the surface and overlying air transpiration is a process by which plants dissipate water from the surface of their leaves last sentence transpiration is associated with photosynthesis of plants okay factors affecting consumptive use of water or evapotranspiration first one evaporation which depends on humidity mainly as we said in the last slide it depends on vapor pressure on surface of water and the atmosphere okay the mean monthly temperature as we know evaporation increases as the temperature increases so temperature mean monthly temperature is an affecting factor growing season of crop and cropping pattern that this factor affects transpiration okay on the depending on the season of crop and crops and cropping pattern transpiration will be decreasing and increasing obviously okay fourth one monthly precipitation in the area obviously uh, precipitation wholly affects the irrigation pattern on about or about of water that is applied to the soil and as is as that increases transpiration and evaporation will be increasing next one irrigation depth so obviously as the precipitation affects transpiration and evaporation irrigation depth also will be directly proportional to both the factors evaporation and transpiration next one wind velocity in the locality wind velocity in the locality will be directly affecting evaporation and soil and topography we have studied soil and topography affecting evaporation same thing will apply on consumptive use of water last one irrigation practices and methods of irrigation okay for example uh, drop drip irrigation or uh, pipe underground water pipes irrigation there will be no very less values of evaporation and transpiration there will be transpiration there will be very less values of evaporation but in case of sprinkler irrigation or inundation irrigation or flood irrigation there will be very appreciative amounts of evaporation okay so irrigation methods and practices are also a factor of consumptive use of water next one potential evapotranspiration and actual evapotranspiration pet and aet pet is the ideal case if suppose we are irrigating to meet the complete need of plants and soils what will be the evapotranspiration amount that is pet potential evapotranspiration and the second case is the real case in actually what is the amount of evapotranspiration occurring that is aet that's it okay next we move on to irrigation efficiencies irrigation efficiencies are a number of approximately six number of efficiency factors that are used to study the efficiency of water supplying and how much efficiently that water is used purposefully so first one water conveyance efficiency for all these efficiencies read the title carefully and understand it you will get the equation by just understanding it okay as per conveyance we are checking the efficiency of conveying water okay from or look on the equation from how much amount that is supplied from the reservoir how much water is reaching the farm okay that is conveyance efficiency okay water delivered to the farm divided by 
water supplied from the reservoir. Okay, understand? It's that simple. Next one, water application efficiency. So after water reaching the farm, how much water is getting stored in the root zone from that reached or delivered water? Okay, that is application efficiency. How well you are applying water? So water efficiency, application efficiency is the ratio of quantity of water stored in the root zone of the crops to the quantity of water delivered on the field. Third one, water use efficiency. From how much water you have delivered to the farm, how much water is used beneficially or consumptively. Okay, isn't that simple? That is WU by WD. From how much delivered water you are using beneficially or consumptively. So how do you find out this WS? the effective water that was used consumptively or beneficially okay that is found out by subtracting the waste stages and the waste stages are rf runoff and df deep percolation okay so the main source of losses are runoff and deep percolation and to get wf we subtract both from delivered water to the farm wf okay Next one, water storage efficiency. That is the ratio on water stored in the root zone divided by water needed in the root zone prior to irrigation, before irrigation. Okay. So, Wn will be available moisture and Ws will be actual storage of water. That will be how effectively irrigation was done or how effectively water was stored in the roots after irrigation. Fifth one, water distribution efficiency. This makes you understand about how uniform this irrigation is done. For a particular crop in a single agricultural field, the, the uniform application of irrigation water is very necessary. The application of water should be uniform all through the agricultural field, all through the root zone. Okay? So you measure it using two factors, Y and D. And where Y is the numerical deviation, in depth of water stored from average depth how much deviations have been occurred on the depth of watering and d is average depth of water stored during irrigation so here is the equation 100 into 1 minus y by d that gives water distribution efficiency so the last one consumptive use efficiency that is given by from how much water you have applied on the field delivered on the field how much water was consumed effectively normal consumptive use of water WCU or CU CU in this case we had used in a uh, frequency of watering problem if you remember it correctly okay so WCU by WD into 100 so these six are the efficiencies we use for irrigation purposes we are measuring different parameters by measuring all these efficiencies or calculating all these efficiencies so keep in mind there are six efficiencies and keep an eye on the factors and equations of efficiencies okay thank you